Hey everyone, Jim Chester coming to you live. I'm here at the Mile High Chiropractic Weekend, uh, Danny and Rochelle Knowles' program. I have uh, Curtis Fedorchuk and I have Doug Lightstone with me. I'm going to let them talk a little bit about what brought them up here to the Mile High Chiropractic Movement and how they are contributing to the future of chiropractic. So we'll pass the mic to Curtis first so he can talk a little bit about what makes him so awesome. And he might be a lead blocker too, so if you guys need to get that extra inch or an extra foot, just uh, sign these guys up. <laughs> uh, it all started uh, last year uh, around October. Danny Knowles lost a bet, and uh, he had to invite me here uh, to speak. Um, I'm a CBP practitioner for 15, 16 years, an instructor for CBP, and then um, just came out here, met a lot of great people. Everyone's been great, a lot of different techniques, like all vast, many, di many different techniques lot interested in what we had to say about structural care and the research we're doing and then also I'm here with my partner Doug Lightstone um, we, we practice together but we also started a company uh, to help uh, document the success of the whole profession so I'll let him talk about that um, yeah it was really really awesome coming out here um, Curtis and I are involved in a lot of research that is going to uh, be very very groundbreaking Um, so yeah, the biggest thing that we have going on here is to be able to share uh, Health and Wellness Score with everybody. What Health and Wellness Score does is it allows uh, chiropractors everywhere to document health-related quality of life changes in their patients. Um, and as Health and Wellness Score, we are going to bring the data together and publish the largest health-related quality of life study in the history of healthcare, um, really putting chiropractic on the map. Um, you know, we need good doctors who care about their patients uh, to be able to sign up and become a part of this, um, really bringing chiropractors everywhere together for, I mean, the biggest, the, biggest, uh, the biggest push of all, which is moving away from neck and back pain doctors and being recognized for improving the quality of life of everybody that comes into our practices. And that's just it, guys. We have some of the best of the best with the research, with the science, the philosophy, the art. When it comes to learning what chiropractic really is, it's so much more than just the headaches, the neck pain, the back pain, and it's really about the chiropractic lifestyle. It's eat well, think well, move well, get adjusted, and I tell people all the time, the people are desperately searching for the first three, the eat well, think well, move well, and they're all neglecting number four. So the chiropractor is going to start people with number four, the adjustment, and then teach those lifestyle principles as people start getting into care. So if we could just start everybody out with the adjustment, and then we could get you healthy with chiropractic, now you're going to have a more sound, you know, health basis to do everything you do in life off of. Sure. So if you follow the CBP model like Curtis does, then you're going to be restored back the curves of your spine that need to be there in order for your body to function properly. And I know there's just so much in the techniques with the chiropractic profession, so much from the schools of where people go. But at the end of the day, chiropractic is chiropractic is chiropractic. Sure. And the more that we're non-denominational, the more that we're supportive of all chiropractors under one roof, then we're going to really get the barometer up and raise the temperature for the chiropractic profession to where there's less division, more inclusion, and we're going to get more of a sound message out there for the chiropractic future. And I think that's what it's all about. So last thing I want one of you guys to talk about, I don't care who it is, but the Vertebral Subluxation uh, Foundation. Sure. Tell us a little bit about what that is and what it's doing for the chiropractic profession as well. Uh, I guess nine years ago or how many years ago, um, Dr. Matt McCoy, Dr. Chris Kent, uh, Christy Kwan, and Dr. Veronica Gutierrez and myself are board members. And uh, so they've been instrumental uh, in just one thing is uh, sponsoring our research and without them uh, we couldn't have done anything as far as IRBs, case studies, case series, control trials, we have stuff going on with telomeres, we have stuff going on with diabetes, we have an epidemiology study coming out, we have over 100 projects, not case studies, we have 100 projects um, going on. So without the foundation, and they do so much more than that, um, defending the profession, backing up people to help them practice civilization based chiropractic, um, and again without them Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, something that's been a, a recurring theme throughout the weekend is that the uh, funda uh, Foundation for Retrieval Subluxation, it protects subluxation, it protects chiropractic adjustment. Um, so for all chiropractors out there um, who hold those terms and what those terms mean near and dear to your heart, you need to be supporting the Foundation for Retrieval Subluxation. Um, I mean, that's
that's just plain and simple, right? At some point, you're going to need them, and your support is going to be vital um, for them being able to be there for you, so that we can put together evidence to support what we all know near and dear in our hearts. Um, and I just want to touch on something that you mentioned about uh, putting techniques aside. That's actually a huge, um, a huge part of the Final Home Store, which the foundation um, is a big flavor of. Is that it is not technique specific. This is about chiropractic, right? This is about quality of life that all chiropractors are supplying for their patients, are providing for their patients. So this is not technique specific. This is nonpartisan. This is one mission, one goal, and that is to show how chiropractic is unmatched in their quality of life measures for their patients. When I first met Doug out at the Berkshires, it was amazing. We just happened to sit across each other while having a meal and I was like hey what do you do and he's like hey what do you do and I'm like hey I come from this camp he's like hey I come from this camp and I was like wow we have a lot of things in common and you know we really support each other for what we both believe in so bringing an immediate element to this whole thing and finding the guys that are like highly intelligent that are doing the background work to make the profession stronger and have a stronger footing to stand on I think that that's like so integral for the future of chiropractic so Kudos to you guys for what you do. Thank you, thank you. And, you. you know, having you guys as a part of, like, Cairo family with me now, I really feel, like, super lucky. So, Doug, Curtis, thank you so much. And stay with me for the rest of the day. I'm going to be going Facebook Live with these type of interviews until 10 o'clock tonight. So anybody that is interested in getting into the Mile High movement, join the Facebook Lives. And if you guys didn't make it here this year in 2017, what would you guys say? Get here next year? Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so, love and appreciate everybody out there that's on the live feed with us. Please like, share, comment, give us some hearts, give us some thumbs. And uh, if you guys do appreciate what we're doing or have any questions, just go ahead and send us a personal message and we'd be happy to answer anything for you. Also, check us out on Facebook, Health and Wellness Score, and www.healthandwellnessscore.com. And. Uh, Lucas Matlock uh, donated eighteen ninety five uh, from the Florida Chiropractic Society <coughs> to the Vertebral Subluxation Foundation, and you know it's just pretty awesome. So if anybody does want to support the future of subluxation and innate intelligence, reach out to these guys, and every donation is welcome. So thank you so much, everybody. Stay with me. Love and love and appreciate you.